Hello, welcome to SharePoint Site Administration Training Video Series. I'm Chirag, and in this video, I will give a very basic introduction to Microsoft's SharePoint platform. SharePoint Server is a collaboration platform which provides enterprise skill capabilities for managing content and business processes. Some of the major capabilities are team collaboration, where team members can collaborate on shared content using features like events planning and task management, uh, creating communities, creating discussion boards, uh, and many more. Once content gets created, SharePoint provides features like content sharing, publishing, organization, security, and discovery as well. Let's talk about the enterprise content management feature, and which includes many more features like web content management, where you can create a website, a subsite under those websites, you can create manage, uh, you can manage those websites and all the subsites. Um, document management, record management, digital media assets management, information rights management, compliance, retention, all these are features uh, uh, that actually are under enterprise content management capability. Searching content is much easier now than before with enterprise search features. Uh, you can also give uh, your data social footprint by following content, people, using social fields, user profiles, personal sites, uh, using social data features. Personalization features allows users to personalize their view of SharePoint sites. You can model your business processes in terms of SharePoint workflows and integrate other business applications and data to SharePoint using business data integration features. With SharePoint business intelligence features, your organization can provide data analytics and visualization support to information workers within SharePoint sites. Let's look at why SharePoint is actually very, very important for um, many organizations. It actually addresses many challenges in managing not just content, but features and functionality, uh, which actually helps business processes uh, within or any organization and actually within uh, at the departmental levels also. Um, so I have listed some of the features here, uh, which I think are very uh, kind of a, like a useful. Uh, and actually, these are actually common business problems that any organization wants to uh, wants to achieve, so that they can speed their speed their uh, process management uh, and uh, the way the organization works with the information. Uh, the first one is the in-browser site customizations. Now, in any site. Uh, when a content creator or author goes to a site, uh, logs in with his or her account, and then uh, the site gives that user in-browser site customizations, that actually is very, very good feature. Um, it actually speeds the process of content creation as well as publishing uh, and the way the, the, the user interacts with the site. Um, and because of the site in-browser site customization feature, it's kind of a, like a low-cost maintenance of the content. It also SharePoint also gives a centralized and hierarch hierarchical uh, feature or functionality management uh, uh, user experience, or say call features. Um, why I used centralized and hierarchical words here is because. Um, in a typical organization's websites, um, the, 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 the content will be organized in a much more complex uh, way and a hierarchical manner so that they can uh, easily distribute the content uh, based on their actual needs and the type of the content. So SharePoint allows that uh, to manage those features and functionalities that, you want, uh, that the organization wants to expose to their users uh, and then manage that with, with uh, some sort of a centralized and uh, uh, streamlined approach. It also gives the same way of uh, handling the security of the content. Uh, not just creating the content, but also it, uh, it allows you to exercise the security uh, to various levels of your content um, of the site. Um, streamlined site rebranding and look and feel customization is it also gives the, the, the site designers uh, to define the, the overall look and feel, but also gives uh, 
various levels where you can override the look and feel so that you can also uh, brand your site based on uh, you know at, at various levels uh, based on the how, how the content is organized um, another useful and powerful feature is content versioning and publishing um, what I meant by what it meant by content versioning is um, let's say you want to uh, you have a document library and you you upload some documents and over the time actually uh, a lot of people use interacts with their document opens the document reads the document modifies the document and um, so and 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 what happened is that if you want to track uh, what changes happened over the time then you 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 may want to actually uh, create a different version each time somebody makes a change or somebody uh, you know creates a configuration settings for the documents right not just the data inside the document but also the metadata of that document or any other records so content versioning is a, a feature provided by SharePoint that you can optionally uh, you know enforce uh, to to the content of your site uh, publishing publishing feature is I, I, I think according to me it's the one of the coolest feature in, in SharePoint uh, because you can exercise the total control of uh, how the content becomes available to the end user, right? Uh, also, it has a, it, and when you when you actually use the publishing feature in junction with versioning, it actually gives a very very good uh, results in how the site interacts with the users. Uh, so with publishing, you can say I'm creating a a, a record or a, a web page, and uh, I decide. Uh, when when the, my changes actually becomes available to all the uh, end users um, built-in search engine as you know um, SharePoint has a built-in uh, search enterprise search engine and uh, you don't need to buy a separate product to search your content within SharePoint site I think that's also one of the most powerful feature of SharePoint in this slide um, I have listed the all the SharePoint versions so far uh, have been published by uh, introduced by Microsoft, right? Um, it all started in 2001 when they first introduced a uh, first um, version of SharePoint. Uh, actually, SharePoint it comes into two flavors. Uh, the first flavor is the core services framework, uh, which is actually free, and uh, you can download and you can you can you can create SharePoint uh, environment with the core services framework. And then on top of it, it actually also Microsoft also gives you the server level uh, flavor, uh, which is actually kind of a, like a paid subscription uh, server framework. Um, so the core services framework is just a bare minimum of core functionality of SharePoint. But then if you want to leverage more sort of a enterprise level features, then you have to go for the paid version of the SharePoint. Um, and uh, you can see that it actually all all the versions from 2001 to to up to date now uh, it's actually more than five versions has been uh, introduced for SharePoint by Microsoft uh, in 2016 they discontinued the core services framework so now in 2016 version of the SharePoint you must have to use the server framework or you can also leverage their cloud service of SharePoint which is called which is called SharePoint online so uh, that's it for this video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.